Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolge. Today, I'm here with Game 3 of the series between the 1986 Mets and the 1961 Philadelphia Phillies. If you have been following the channel and following the series, you know that the New York Mets have won the first two games of the series and they um, can put this thing away right now if they can win this game right here. It's a best of five series as you know in the second round and this is a second round matchup. The Phillies Having gotten here, I believe, by beating the world champion 1979 Pirates, improbably, but they did it. And um, so they do find themselves here against the Mets, but down two games to nothing. And on the mound today, uh, today's pitching matchup for the uh, 86 Mets, who are the visiting team now because they played the first two games at home, will be Sid El Sid Fernandez. And uh, pitching for the Philadelphia Phillies will be Frank Sullivan. Um, and the uh, Mets are going with Fernandez again, as I mentioned in the uh, previous game. They are going with they, they're, they're trying to avoid Gooden and uh, Darling this series so that they can start out the next series with Gooden and Darling pitching, believing that they can eliminate the 61 Phillies who were only 47 and 107 in real life in 1961. So, with all of that having been said, they're going to get on with it. Frank Sullivan is done with his warm-up pitches. And we will get underway with Mookie Wilson facing Sullivan. And that's a 6-9, which is a strikeout. One away. That brings up Lenny D, Lenny Dykstra. And he gets a home run 1-4 to four, or a double. And that will be a double. So, Nails, or whatever his name, nickname was, <laughs> gets a double off Sullivan. The Mets have a man at second with one down. And Keith Hernandez up, and he gets a 5-5, which is a strikeout, two away. And that brings up Daryl Strawberry, and he gets a 3-5, which is a walk. So the Mets have two guys on, um, and two down. This is a key batter for Sullivan right here, Gary Carter. And he gets a 3-8, which is a double 1-3 to three or a single level asterisk. And that is going to be a double, and it's going to knock in a run. Fifth RBI of the series for him. Sullivan gives up a run here in the first inning. Maybe more on the way. Wally Backman, who knows. 3-6, that's a single, and that knocks in another run. And that's his first RBI of the series. Second run allowed by Sullivan. Ray Knight, and he gets a 1-12, which is a pop-out plus injury. And that is a 10. He's probably out for at least this game. Let me see. Two games. So, Ray Knight will miss two games. And they're going to have to have a replacement for him immediately in the field. But the uh, Mets do strike for two runs. And we go to the bottom of the first. And so the Mets are already up 2 nothing after one. And the replacement third baseman will be Tim Tuffle. So he goes out to the position previously occupied by Knight.
and he is uh, stealing E and a third base four. Let's get back to where we had Sid Fernandez on the mound. And Sid Fernandez is done taking his warm-up tosses. And that brings up Tony Gonzalez to face him, the center fielder for the Phillies. And he gets a 2-7, which is a ground ball. And he's out. Uh, that was a ground ball third base for Gonzalez. One down. Johnny Callison gets a 5-7. That is a strikeout. And it's not like you're really losing that much with Fernandez on the mound. Um, I mean, he was 16-6 and six with a 352 earned run average in 1986. So he's a very good pitcher. 5-2 is a pop-out to second for Covington. And Covington is out, and so are the Phillies in the first. We go to the top of the second... With the Mets coming up and having a 2-0 lead and Kevin Mitchell up. And he gets a 6-8, which is a double 1-15. to Frank Sullivan not having a very good day here. That's going to be a single, though. Mitchell, or, uh, yeah, Kevin Mitchell not having a bad series. 4 for 9. Rafael Santana gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball third base double play. So Santana hits into a double play, and there are two down for the Mets, and nobody on now. And that brings up the Mookie Wilson, man, and he grounds out to the shortstop. And the Mets come away with nothing, but they still have the 2-0 lead. So... Right now, they are in control. Don Demeter up. He gets a 4-7, which is a triple one or a single. That's going to be a single for Demeter. So a leadoff single by the Phillies. First hit allowed by Sid Fernandez. Here in the second, Lee Walls up. He gets a 4-5, which is a walk. The Phillies have a little something going here. A little something something. Herrera, Pancho Herrera comes up, and he's got a 4-7, which is a triple one or a single double asterisk, and that's going to knock in a run. And that does knock in a run. That's exactly what it does. So, Fernandez gives up his first run, and the Phillies are still threatening with men at the corners and no outs, and Ruben Amaro up, and he gets a 6-8. That's a strikeout, so that's the first out. Up steps Tony Taylor, and he gets a 6-6. Six, six. That's a walk that loads them up. The bases are full. There's ducks on the pond with only one out. And that brings up Clay Dalrymple, and he gets a 5-6, and that's a double one to eight, or a fly ball. And it's going to be a fly ball center field B, but it's going to score the tying run. Two away. On the Dalrymple fly out. And that brings up Tony Gonzalez, top of the order. For seven, that's a triple one, single double asterisk. It's going to knock in another run. So Tony Gonzalez with a hit. He's not having the greatest series, but only 3 for 11. But he does knock in a key run right there. And now the Phillies take the lead, 3-2. And Johnny Callison's up, and he gets a 1-10, which is a double, and knocks in another run. So uh, the Mets have got to, you know, assess this situation, because before this gets out of hand, they really would like to win this right here. But now they're down 4-2. And Wes Covington's up, and he gets a 1-7, which is a single, and knocks in a run. 
This Philly offense, when it gets on a roll, it is hard to stop. Uh, the 79 Pirates can attest to that. Don Demeter is up, and he gets a 2-5, which is a strikeout, and finally the Phillies are out of the inning. But not before they get five runs and take a 5-2 lead in the uh, second inning, and we go to the top of the third. So the Mets, now they got to be a little worried. Len Dykstra's up, and he gets a 2-4, which is a ground ball first base B, so he's out. Keith Hernandez gets a 2-6, which is a single. Daryl Strawberry gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout. That's two away. And that brings up Gary Carter, and he gets a 1-8, which is a pop-out to third. Just missing that home run that could have tied the game, but it didn't, and so the Mets are out of that inning. We go to the bottom of the third... But the Mets losing 5-2 to the Phillies, who are here in Philadelphia in Scheib Park. Lee Walls gets a 4-5, and that is a walk. So Fernandez continues to have problems now. He, had a, he was smooth sailing in the first, but he had a... He had a very rough second, and he's just let off uh, by the third by putting a man on board. And Pancho Herrera up in 6-9 is a fly ball to right. One away. Ruben Amaro is up. He gets a 5-6, which is a double one to eight. And that is going to be a fly ball B to center. So Amaro is out. And Tony Taylor gets a 3-3 and he lines out to short. So the Phillies let off the inning looking promising, but they end up coming away with nothing there. We go to the top of the fourth. The Mets down by three, losing by the score of 5-2 and Wally Backman up. He gets a 5-8. That is a triple one. Instead, it is a single. So Backman is aboard with a single. Tim Tuffle is up. He is replacing Ray Knight, who just got injured in this game. 6 9 is a strikeout, one away. And Mitchell is up. He gets a 2 5, which is a strikeout, two away. And that brings up Santana. He gets a 4-6, and that's a home run. Or no, that is a strikeout. So I was looking at the wrong guy. So Santana strikes out. <coughs> Sullivan getting him. Sullivan is bending but not breaking here. As we go to the bottom of the fourth inning with the Mets losing 5-2. To the 61 Phillies. And they will bring up Clay Dalrymple facing Sid Fernandez, who is still out there. 2 and 11 is a walk. So Dalrymple on with a walk. <clears throat> Tony Gonzalez is up. He gets a 6 10, which is a strikeout. One Johnny Callison up. He gets a 3-6, which is a ground ball shortstop A, and that's a double play, and the Phillies are out of the inning. We go to the top of the fifth. Time is moving along here, and it isn't favoring the Mets as they're down by three. Mookie Wilson steps in against Frank Sullivan. 5-7, that's a ground ball second base. That's Tony Taylor. 
and Tony Taylor is a second base three. And that is a 10. 10 and 3 at second is a one base error. So, Mookie Wilson gets on by an error by Tony Taylor, a rare error by Tony Taylor. He is in the, I believe he's in the Phillies Hall of Fame. So, Len Dykstra's up, he gets a 3 9, which is a walk. Now the Mets have a little something going themselves. Keith Hernandez comes up. He gets a 3-6. That's a walk. Bases are loaded. No outs. Now the Phillies are in a lot of trouble. But they're still going to keep the infield back because they sorely need the double play here. And they have a two-run lead. And they're home. Daryl Strawberry comes up. He gets a 5-10. That is a catcher card. The catcher is a 3. That's Clay Delrymple. That is a 3 roll. 3-3 three and three is a pop-out. So that's a harmless out. Now they really need the double play. Gary Carter. He gets a 1-5. That's a fly ball center field B. That will knock in a run, though, because it's only the second out. Gary Carter with his sixth RBI of the season. Sullivan with his third earned run allowed. And Wally Backman up, and he gets a 3-2, which is a ground ball shortstop. So the Mets, despite having a real threat going, have only knocked in one run that inning. They only got one across, and so now it's still 5-3. And Wes Covington is at the plate, bottom of the fifth, 5-7, that is a strikeout, Covington is out. Neither pitcher really is pitching, is really that sharp. Neither one really seems to be on top of their game. Don Demeter is a 2-5, that's a strikeout. And that brings up Lee Wall. And Lee Walls gets a 6-6. Six, six, that's a walk. So with two outs, the Phillies have a man aboard. And that's Lee Walls, who since coming on for the um, for the replacement for the replacement of Bobby Del Greco, he has been quite good. He's two for four this series with three walks. And that brings up Pancho Herrera, who gets three seven, which is a strikeout. He was in his column, but he was also out in that column. And that's a seventh strikeout for Fernandez. He is striking people out, but he's also allowed five runs to score for the Phillies. So, in that disastrous second inning. Tim Tuffle is up facing Sullivan as the leadoff batter here. 5-8. That is a triple one or a single. And that is going to be a single for Tuffle who has, as I said, come on for the injured Ray Knight. Kevin Mitchell gets a 1-7. That's a walk. So they're starting another rally. This Mets offense is one you really, um, I mean, the 86 Red Sox know. This is an offense you can't sleep on. Santana gets a 3-7. That's a ground ball, third base, double play. Two outs, but now there's a man at third. And that brings up Mookie Wilson. He gets a 1-9, which is a fly ball center field. Just missing a big hit, but he did miss it. And so we go to the bottom of the eighth. The Mets still losing 5-3. Ruben Amaro up. He gets a 2-7. That's a walk. There was only two walks in the column, and uh, that was one of them. So Amaro is aboard. And if Fernandez loses this game, the Mets are probably reluctantly going to have to go back to the doctor. Tony Taylor, 3-8, that's a strikeout. One away.
Clay Delrymple, 5-7. That's a strikeout, two away. Nine strikeouts for Sid L. Sid. Tony, all right, we're going to re-roll that. And that's a 5-6. That's a double one to eight, or a fly ball. And it is a fly ball to the center fielder. Tony Gonzalez is out. The Phillies get nothing in the sixth, but again, they are in control by the score of 5-3 right now over the Mets. Lenny Dykstra here leading off in the seventh inning. 2-2 is a ground ball third base, one away. Keith Hernandez gets a 5-5. Five, five. That is a strikeout, two away. And really, that's a seventh strikeout for Sullivan. So the both pitchers are striking people out, but they're not on top of their games. 2-3 is a walk for Strawberry. Strawberry taking the walk. He's allowed, Sullivan's allowed a lot of base runners. Gary Carter, 1-5, fly ball to the center fielder. So the Mets go harmlessly in the seventh. Now the question for the Phillies is, do you go to the bullpen? With Sullivan not being as sharp as he can usually be. And because in 1961, he, yes, he was 3-16, and 16, but that was more a product of his bad team than his pitching because he had a 429 earned run average and only allowed 161 hits and 159 innings. Johnny Callison will lead off here against Fernandez. 610 is a strikeout. Callison striking out. And of course Sid racking up those strikeouts at the 10th K for him. 3-6. That's a walk for Covington. So Covington is aboard with a walk. Don Demeter, 4-9. We have a uh, we have a ground ball C to second base. So that is Demeter is out. One out, man at second. Can't let him score. Six twelve is a ground is a fly ball right. The right fielder is Strawberry, and he's a two. That's a four. I believe that's going to be an out, and it is two away. Lee Walls out. Two for five in the series, and Herrera, Pancho Herrera, gets a three two, and that's a fly ball to center, and he is out. And the Phillies are going to go to the bullpen. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 They're going to bring on Jim Owens to pitch. As you might well imagine with the 61 Phillies, they don't really have a good bullpen. They don't have really good pitchers at all. So the Mets will come up and face Jim Owens. The leadoff batter will be Wally Backman, and he gets a 1-7, which is a single. Tim Tuffle is up, and he gets a 5-8. That's a fly ball right. One away. Mitchell is up. He gets a 6-9. That is a home run 1-4 to four or a triple. And that is going to be a triple and knock in a run. And now they got a man 90 feet away. So all of a sudden, the complexion of the game changes immediately. And the Phillies will bring the infield in in this particular situation. Santana's up. He gets a 4-7. That is a single, though, and it knocks in a run. 
So the Mets are now only down by a run. Owens gave everything right back, just about. Not quite, but just about. And Mookie Wilson's up. He gets a 1-7. That's a triple one to six or a single, and he might have given it all back. He doesn't, but runners are at the corners now. Mookie Wilson. And uh, now you got to wonder, are they going to stick with Owens? And they are going to look for another reliever because they have to win this game. So, they're going to get Don Ferrari Farizi. I don't know how you pronounce his name, but anyway, he's up in the bullpen. Um, Dykstra's up to plate. They will have the infield in because there's only one out. That is a 4-6. That is a single one to two. And that is going to be a line out to first base. Dykstra is out. That's the second out. Two away. Infield back. and um, Keith Hernandez is up and that's a 4-7, which is a single and knocks in the tying run. And like I said, you really can't sleep on this um, New York Met offense. And now we have a five game, a five tied at five game. And Strawberry gets a 2-3, which is a walk, and loads the bases up. They've seen enough of Owens. Owens only goes two-thirds of an inning. And they will bring in Don. You, you guys can try to figure it out. Maybe if you uh, grew up, you know, if you were a little older than me and you grew up and you know about the Phillies, you know how to pronounce that guy's name. But anyway, he's in the game. Don F. And Gary, he's going to face Gary Carter with the bases loaded. And that's a 3-5. That's a walk. And so now the Mets have taken a lead. Is that four? That's four. So yeah, they took the lead a little a little bit back, I think. I think that's four runs. Backman's up. He gets a 4-8. That is going to be a fly ball B, and that is the last out. One way or the other, I mean, I've got them, I've got them here getting four runs. But, uh, and then that would make it six, seven to five, and a two-run lead for the Mets. Which I believe it is, but even if I'm wrong, they did take the lead. So they're leading by one or two. I have to go back to the tape and check that out. Uh, but if the, if the Phillies don't get another run, that isn't going to matter. And the Philly, or the uh, Mets themselves are going to bring in a, a reliever. They are going to go to Jesse Orozco. Because now they've got a lead and they can smell it. And so um, Fernandez only pitches, he pitches seven. Pitches seven, he allows five hits, strikes out ten, walks four, and gives up five earned runs. And Ruben Amaro will face Jesse Roscoe. And that's a 3 8, that's a strikeout. Tony Taylor's up. He gets a 5-8. That's a strikeout. Two away. And 
and Dalrymple's up, and that's a four or six. That's a double one to seven, or a single, and that will be a double. So Dalrymple rips a double, and he's now at second base. If they can knock him in, well, they need to knock him in. 210 for Tony Taylor is a fly ball right field B, though, and he's out. No runs come in for the Phillies in the eighth. They're only going to have now the ninth to try to get back to a tie game. Tim Tuffle is up. He gets a 4-3. That's a walk. So that's, I mean, that's the uh, cautionary tale for when you take a starter out. Even though he hasn't been pitching great, he had been holding the Mets down. And um, and now the, the Philly bullpen just gave everything away. 311 is a ground ball B, so now Mitchell is on first with one down. Santana's up. He gets a 3-9, which is a walk. Two on, one out, Mookie Wilson up, one nine, is a fly ball center field, two away. And Dykstra comes up and he gets a four nine, and that is a walk. So Dykstra gets a walk. And Ferris, that's all he's done. Is or Ferreris, that's all he's done is walk people. One twelve is a pop out plus injury for Keith Hernandez now, and that's a sixteen. He's going to be gone for a while. But the Mets get no runs there in the top of the ninth, and now they have to come and get their own replacement again. Another replacement. And that'll be Lee Mazzilli, who will come in and play first base for the Mets. And you might expect to see him in future games when, when and if they go on to the next round. Because right now, the Phillies need at least one run. Probably two, because as I say, I think they're losing 7-5 right now. Johnny Callison's up. He gets a 6-6. Six, six. That's going to be a fly ball center field. One away. Covington comes up. He gets a 5-9. That's a strikeout. That's two away. And they are down to their last out. And Don Demeter gets a 6-8. And that is going to be a fly ball left field. Demeter is out. The Phillies are eliminated in three in the second round series. However, it does cost the Mets two of their frontline starters in Ray Knight and Keith Hernandez, who will not be playing to start the next round. Although the next round, the Mets may sit out. In fact, I think they do. They're the best team in the field. And only three teams advance to the next round, so the best team sits out. So I think the Mets are going to sit out, and they so you may see those guys back in the uh, in the uh, championship round of for the National League. Um, but the Phillies get eliminated. It was a good run for them. They almost won this game and made it, um, you know, and, and bumped it to a game four, but they didn't. So that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.